Now we are going to talk about the mouth and the pharynx. The mouth provides an entrance to the airway. And here we can see the lips and the teeth. The superior portion of the mouth comprises of the hard palate, moving back to the soft palate that ends in this finger-like projection called the uvula. The lower or inferior portion of the mouth is dominated by this muscular structure, the tongue. The pharynx is the cavity which connects the nose and the mouth to the larynx and the esophagus. It's divided into three sections. The nasopharynx that runs from the back of the nasal cavity called the nasal aperture down the posterior aspect of the soft palate. The oropharynx runs from the uvula, which is this finger-like projection, down to the epiglottis. The oropharynx contains some structures which we should know about. Anteriorly, the palatoglossal arch, and posterior to that, the palatopharyngeal arch. And between the two arches lie the tonsils. Just above the epiglottis is a fold called the vellecula. Now that's of interest because that's where the blade of the laryngoscope is placed during laryngoscopy. The tip of the laryngoscope fits into the fold of the vellecula just above the epiglottis. The laryngopharynx runs from the epiglottis to the cricoid cartilage at the level of the sixth cervical vertebrae and the laryngopharynx contains the vocal cords.